I've seen a lot of panic and fear that's been going on right now in the gun community, in those that are supporting the Second Amendment. And of course, this fear is warranted. There's a lot of pending upcoming legislation that may strip us of some of our basic rights as American citizens. Not taking away all the guns, but definitely restricting certain things that we all love and enjoy and really give teeth to the Second Amendment. And of course, this includes military style so-called assault weapons, which aren't really assault weapons, and full capacity magazines, not high capacity. These are standard capacity magazines that fit in certain guns. They just go with these guns and they're for good purposes. Of course, I personally have been in somewhat of a panic and somewhat fearful of what's going on. And one of the things that's really helped me a lot, and, and I want to kind of give you some direction here, and I hope this really helps, is what to do now. If you've got extra money and you're wanting to pick up some items, now is the time to do it for sure. But what do we start to buy? What are the most important things on the list? So I'm going to kind of give you a few options to think about right now. And where you might be thinking about running out and buying a $500 scope, or you're looking at maybe buying a new backpack, you may want to take those funds and put them towards something that you may not possibly be able to get in the future. Of course, one of the big things that's on the list is your semi-automatic uh, military-style rifle, which so-called by many who don't know any different, the assault weapon. Uh, these are semi-automatic military-style weapons that fire semi-automatic. These are on the list, and baby, they are tight on the list. You've got your AK, you've got your AR, HK, or set me, whatever you have. Different type rifles that are on this list that are surely uh, one of the targets if you've ever desired to own one of these weapons, now is the time to invest. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. They, there are a few available here and there. I've seen them. Because of the price, a lot of people just haven't been able to run out and buy them, especially around Christmas time. But if you are needing or wanting a semi-automatic rifle, now's the time to do it. If you've ever dreamed on having an AR-15, now's the time to do it. But now, if you're on a serious budget and you just can't afford it, one of the most important things I would consider is a lower. In fact, I would consider a lower probably before I would consider buying an entire rifle. Of course, the AR lower is one of the most important ways to be able to get into an AR-15. This is considered the gun. This is considered, this is what's registered. All the different parts and barrels and everything else are just accessories to the receiver. Once you get the receiver, you have the rifle, you can add the parts later. Uh, right now, a lot of parts are not available but they sooner or later will become available as companies continue to manufacture and catch up with demand. If nothing else, I would highly recommend running out and buying a lower at whatever price. Now these have typically run around the hundred dollar mark. At the South Carolina Gun Company, he had 10 the other day and I sent at least five people over there to buy one, which I know some of the guys picked up some. An AR lower is a really great buy. You can get in cheap, and if you've ever dreamed in having an AR-15, this is the best way to do it. Just like I did a video before all this stuff started happening, buy a lower, save the country. This is a great way to get started. Well, number two, and not any less important, are full capacity magazines. Uh, the magazines that hold over 10 rounds. These have draw, they are drying up everywhere. In fact, they're very difficult to find. Uh, I had a buddy of mine that just bought an AR lower, and he was wanting to uh, buy some AR magazines to go with it, and there just weren't any to be found. You've got to get out, look around. Now, what I want to suggest is, because most of your online sources are dry, but that doesn't mean that Magpul and some of these other companies aren't still producing magazines, and they will resupply sooner or later. I mean, they are going full tilt to get these magazines out. But one of the things that's really great to do, if you have a local gun show, I would highly recommend you hit those gun shows. I picked up these four magazines this weekend. They're Beretta 92 mags. They're surplus mags. But I got them for five bucks a piece. They're 15 round magazines. Now, that's going to be probably a real chore to find now. But AR-15 magazines, surplus, even if it's just the magazine bodies, because that's what the magazine is, is considered, the body itself. Uh, you can get your springs and followers later if you need to. But buying these things, uh, you know, this 33-round uh, Glock magazine, I mean, these things are going to be almost impossible to find. Now, what I would suggest is going to your local gun shops, some of these little small hole in the walls. Some of these guys will have magazines laying around in the back. If you know somebody, it's a great way to do it. Get on arms list. 
get on a gun broker, Guns America, all the different online sources where they have classified. A lot of people are going to be selling personal magazines and things, and you're going to be able to maybe find a deal. Uh, even if you can't find a deal, to be honest with you, if you are lacking in magazines, you need to make an investment to pick up these magazines because these are going to be some of the first things to go. One area you definitely want to consider are collapsible stocks and being able to get these stocks. Sometimes you can find the old military stocks that people have replaced their Magpul stocks with and want to get rid of these. Buying just whatever you can buy, these are going to turn into gold if and when an assault weapons ban uh, occurs. Also, even pistol grips, because pistol grips are so evil. I mean, look at that. That is scaring me. Now, right now, ammo is going crazy. Selling like crazy. And uh, we picked up some HPR at Academy Sports the other day, and it was one of the last boxes. They cleaned the shelves out of a lot of your 223, 5.56, 7.62 by 3.9. Those are the calibers right there that you really need to consider. Uh, the thing is, they're not going to ban uh, ammunition necessarily, but the one thing that is a possibility is they're going to up the taxes on ammunition. And of course, good handgun ammunition. Uh, staying with the rifle ammunition primarily, but making sure that you have enough rounds. A thousand rounds per gun is minimum, to be honest with you. So, uh, and if ammunition doubles, this is going to be like putting money in the bank. But one of the things that I'm really focused on right now is 22 long rifle. And w there's a couple of reasons. Number one, it's very reasonable. It's cheap. There's a million bazillion purposes you can use hunting. Even in self-defense, 22 long rifle is still effective. But the big thing about 22 is you can buy a lot of it cheap. And that way you can train with your 22, practice, keep your skills up, and not shoot your primary ammunition. That is the number one thing. So make sure you stock up on plenty of 22 long rifle. Of course, having a serious amount of buckshot and magnum loads for your self-defense, or even having a bunch of just field loads to put back. Having shotgun ammunition is really important, and there are so many 12 gauges all over the place. So. Buying 12 gauge ammunition if you don't have one could be critical. On a more encouraging note, the NRA since the shooting has noticed 8,000 new members per day. And that should send a sign to the NRA that we're serious about our Second Amendment rights. Also a Fox News poll that's on their website. Go to foxnews.com and it's on one of the You Decide polls. Uh, it talks about what should Congress focus on concerning these shootings. And 5.5% said gun control. 41% said the mental health system, 21% said school security, and 27% said American culture and entertainment. People are looking, and these are good signs. Now, again, as I've said in my earlier video, this panic buy and going out and doing all this stuff is great, but the number one thing that you need to do is to get in touch with your Congress and senators, get in touch with your governor and your local representatives and tell them to stand behind our Constitution and the Second Amendment and to stand against any and all gun control. Join the NRA, let them know that we're supporting them standing against the same. Join the Gun Owners of America and the other gun rights organizations that are around you. The more that you put into it, the better the chance is that all of this panic buy will just put you ahead with your preps. I just want to encourage you that if you're worried, if you're in a panic, take action. Take action now, and you'll feel better, and you'll be glad you did. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. It's in the air, and it's time to prepare. Don't wait till it's too late. Provide for your family now. Oh, it's raining.